Welcome back everybody to this part of our series on Require DS, Dina Table, and Bootstrap. In the previous videos we covered, uh, we get an introduction to um, Dina Table, to Require DS, to Bootstrap. In this video we're going to try to wrap everything in one package. So we want to um, get Bootstrap, get um, DNA table and get required GS together. So, uh, first thing we need to do is put in a plan. So, we want to say, let me just increase the size of the text. We want to get all GS files. Uh, we want to also get all, wait a minute, we want to get all. Um, uh, CSS files and include them, require them in require GS. So how to do that? Basically we need to know what are the main files that we want. So we want this file, we want this file, we want all these. So we need them. So uh, let me just explain to you what we're gonna make here. First thing you need to do is include in the required GS. So where did we where did we got? Where were the did we get um, the required GS script? It's almost there. Here we got we go to GS, we got we got two script. The one the first one is uh, require and the other one is main. So we need these two. So it's just gonna copy them and put them inside the, the project that I want to work on. So I want to work on the project here and see WAMP uh, WW Dyna table and just going to go to the common file to the GS and put the script just here. So here where do I need to work? Uh, I got my required DS and also I got the main script, the JavaScript. So, uh, what I want to do next, I just want to say, all right, all these files are going to be loaded through required DS. So, the first thing we need to do is telling um, the, the website, the project, that only load. Uh, required GS. So in order to do that, we have to go somewhere else in the code. And let me just go to the project to view to the template to the header. We're just gonna go to the header and just gonna say, all right, required GS. So where did where is required GS file? See here, data main. You can. It's not. Um, you can do data main, but this is. Uh, is not a holly word, you know. You 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 can oh holly word. You can change this by um, just remove this and include it here. You can do this instead. Yeah, actually you can do this. I'm not kidding. All right, and we're gonna say. You see the all these files we don't need any any of these files so I just want to say take these take this stuff all right T take this take all these and save this file go now to main the the, the main script where did we put main script it's inside the common javascript main it's here and let me just put this script here all right notes here we got all these and also we have another thing which is gonna require uh in the footer so we have all these scripts also remove them i don't want to the i don't want to see them inside um neither footer or neither the header so I'm just gonna go main and put this also here. Uh, for the CSS files, we say we, we should say that all the 
all these CSS files should be remain in one single CSS file because we want to organize our code so in order to do that uh, we need to say alright we need to make a, a CSS script that's gonna take all the files in single uh, CSS style sheet so we saw that in our previous video here inside um, our assets we got CSS we got main so this main uh, just took all the scripts and put them inside just one single style sheet so this is what I gotta do here inside then the table I'm just gonna go to common to CSS and put all these together and all these tiles just gonna take them and put them or let me just put them inside the same the same file so here we go to main we have some attributes I don't wanna see this and just want to say all right and just need the different copies one two <sighs> have many scripts import them all and go to if you remember we copied all these inside our header and we put all this style sheet inside the main so this is is the main so I just gonna control X to get all these and put them inside our main script here so just gonna take them all and here we just gonna say alright load bootstrap and load responsive and load on uh, dinner table CSS and also load style CSS all right, we load, we loaded all the scripts. Uh, we need also to load this. Don't forget to load anything. So we need to load starter. Copy and paste it here, and you can remove everything. Code is organized. All right, we need to include main. So, so what is the shortcut for main? So you're gonna see here if we go to my um, header, we're gonna say, all right, we want to include a style sheet, and this style sheet is gonna be here. So this is our style sheet. In order to include a style sheet in your document, uh, you have to to add it inside your document. So we can do this by using a uh, link mm -hmm. so let me just go to to um, to my project here to index just want to get star sheet alright just gonna copy this go back to header and say alright just gonna need to load this script assets it's common CSS main to CSS alright this is is our script so what about require and main what is the main the location for this two script you can go assets um, I'm working in uh, view um, just gonna go to common um, we say how to import all these wanna go to JS and you're gonna go require just gonna copy and take this um, script location alright this is is my script location it's on require js location so it's in require js and this is is my uh, main script that gonna be executed 
so I can just include the same script removing this and putting forward slash instead of backslash because we're talking about a Linux based naming so this is is script common JavaScript main the JavaScript this is is our main JavaScript file and we, it's gonna load all the scripts for us so this is is where we will go to play in this script all right so I just gonna go open main we can see we got all the these scripts we want to load them all so in order to load them all you have to define them first so I'm just gonna say I wanted to I want to define all these scripts so one two three four I got four scripts so I just want to define four scripts this is two this is three this is four so we got four scripts and let me just start with them we got jQuery from here let's make another request to this location uh, we have uh, uh, bootstrap uh, min also but when you define a path you're not supposed to give um, the extension so just remove it this is for bootstrap and also we need another one for diner table and also we need another one for script all right so just gonna not name them script dinner table this is bootstrap you can name it whatever you want um, I, I don't want to say JavaScript because it's Odoo loaded by default it's gonna be loaded we define the paths um, I don't want to use any of these so I just want to um, remove all the arguments and remove all the arguments from here and remove all the arguments from here and just get started with new one so we can organize the code more um, let me just put in the sign the same sync the same order same thing the same stuff all right just want to say control C put them inside the array oh we want to say all right give it space instead of this put this put this and remove this these are our script we can make the arguments dollar sign for jQuery it's B for bootstrap, D for dine and table, and SC for script. So we're gonna we're gonna make an alert statement here, or let me just say console.log in order to make sure that all the files are asynchronously loaded. Loaded all the scripts. So I just define this stuff and just gonna say all right stop this and come back to our page just refresh it you can see we refresh the page everything's still working correctly with us except we don't have we don't got uh the location for uh bootstrap main theme why open this we uh open this we're gonna see that the location uh, for this started theme is not defined and the location for bootstrap min also is not uh, defined so we're gonna see why is that so I'm just gonna go to uh, the project files here we're gonna go to data table you gotta go to common CSS mm, we don't put strap theme dot min the CSS um, and also um, it's not here so it's in the same folder same path uh, but we couldn't load it so I can copy this and edit it 
yeah you see the location is wrong so I need to fix it and also for the starter theme we don't got any any starter theme so I don't need this actually because it's not included in the document always look at the console refresher page you can see here we loaded everything and everything is working correctly as we need it uh, you can uh, put um, ISTRES, for example, you're going to see, uh, get the city for in the French and uh, search for 23, you're going to see 23. Um, go to Beijing, not going to work because you need to s change on Plur, searching criteria. And this is pretty much uh, for if you want to example, for example, you want to get this thing you're gonna find it if you want to get this thing you're gonna click in there you're gonna find it you want to search for a specified email address you're gonna find it you're gonna see we got all the pagination and it's tough and it's also bootstrap based and this is what I like about it it's bootstrap based um, the table is it's not fully bootstrap but somehow bootstrapped so this is an iPad view this is an iPhone view and pretty much look looks good alright this is works on the entire pages as you can see here on all of our website pages so this is pretty much guys about integrating between uh, Dynatable, RequireJS and uh, what else RequireJS and bootstrap um, next video, we're going to go in depth in Dynatable and see how we could customize um, our view to look, to look something similar to this um, style. This is pretty much it, guys, for this video. Thank you again for watching our series on Dynatable Bootstrap and RequireJS. Don't forget to subscribe to our updates, like our website and subscribe to our channel stereo 07 i hope this video helped thank you again and see you in the next